Your I'm Coming Out video, it happened in the beginning of 2020. Yes. What would you say is like the biggest difference between before and after that moment in your life? Before and after coming out? Oh my, the world. Um, uh, before I used to have like uh, six agendas and, and always thinking, always having like that pressure on my shoulders. And, and, and since last year, it's been so free, uh, so liberating. And it's an honor that I can uh, represent my community on such a huge, huge stage. Yeah. Yeah, because you do represent it uh, in many ways. Uh, you incorporate it in your dresses. Uh, what? Why is that so important to you? Well, this is the biggest stage in the world, um, and and I feel like we need that representation. We need that visibility. I think the last big trans moment for Eurovision was Donna International, and and then for a whole lot of time there was nothing and if there whoever wins this year i hope they bring the diversity with them because please let me not be the last uh, trans person on that stage you have been talking about growing up being bullied for being different for being different things uh, you made huge success with your makeup what would you like to say to those haters and bullies right now Oh, I don't think I even have to say anything. The fact that I'm on that stage and I get to be me and with so many people all over Europe and the world and Australia um, accepting me and supporting me and cheering me on, I don't have to say a word. They only have to watch the semifinals or the, the grand final on Saturday and that's more than enough. <laughs> and, I mean, social media can be a very cruel place as well. Absolutely. Do you read everything that people say about you, do you avoid it? Oh, it depends what kind of mood I'm in. Um, usually, I, I, you know what, I've, I've learned through the years that reading everything is not healthy because no one would stand in a room and shout to all the people around them, tell me what you think of me. Like, tell me right now. No one would do that. And it's the same with like looking it up on, in, on the internet. That's not, it's not healthy. People can think what they think. At the end of the day, I'm living my dream, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Speaking of dreams, this was one of your big dreams to, to host the Eurovision. What is the next big dream in your personal life Girl, and also me, in the I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I don't know. This, is, this was my biggest dream. The fact that I'm here is literally insanity. And from here on out, I don't, I don't know. I'm just going to have fun. <laughs> Any plans on what to do after this? Sleep. Lots of sleep and eating and no more corsets. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank Nikki. You.